Hi, in this movie, we're going to take a look at NURBS curves and their components. We're going to take a look at the CV curve tool, the revolve tool under surfaces menu set in Maya, how to import images for modeling references. Also, we're going to take a look at the twist deformer to deform our object and snapping to curves in Maya, and also how we can switch from a low res, mid res, and a high res geometry in the viewport. So, I'm going to go to my front view over here and my grid has been turned off right here. So let's import our image in the background as a modeling reference. So let's go to View, Import, Image Plane, Import Image. It goes into my Source Images folder. Let's say Bottle1.tga, that's my image I want. Let's zoom out. And now I'm going to start making a CV curve tool, which is a control vertex curve in Maya. It can be found under Create, CV Curve Tool. Let's go to the Settings. Reset the tool, and it's at 3 cubic, which means it's a 3 degree curve. What that means is I'll require 4 points even before the curve shows up. If it was a 5 degree curve, then I would require 6 points. So let's see how that works. So let's start with the point here, here, and here. See, there's no curve yet if you go really close. And now if I insert a point here, there's my curve. And don't worry if it doesn't match up exactly. We can always go and change that later. So I'm just going to start inserting some of these points right here along the edge and again like I said if you are not sure of a certain point don't worry about it right now we can always go and edit those points and also if sometimes you insert a point which is not right you can always undo which is Z so like for example right here I can just do Z So I'm just inserting these points, and we're not going to cover the entire bottle. We're just going to do half of it, and then we're going to use the Revolve tool to get our model. So I'm just going to stop around here and hit Enter. At this time, if I want to, I can go to some of the components of the curve. So right-click, I can go to Control Vertex. I can select some of these and bring this guy in. Select this one and go back in. I can go back to what is called object mode. So I'm in component mode right now in Maya where I'm editing these vertices. I can right click and go to object mode. I'm going to hide the bottle at this time. So let's go to show and hide the camera because it's projected from the camera. And right now I'm going to snap this point, this pivot over here, to this point over here. So I'm going to hold down D to go to the pivot mode and I'm going to hold down C to curve snap and I'm going to middle mouse button click here and drag so you can see the pivots nicely snapped over here now we're going to use our revolve tool under the surfaces menu set go to surfaces revolve and I'm going to use the default settings over here let's quickly reset the settings Y axis is what it's going to use to revolve around 0 to 360 degrees, segments that's 8. It's The output geometry is going to be NURBS. I can always make a polygon geometry over here if I want to, or a sub-D. I'm simply going to say Revolve. And there you go. That's my object right here. I'm going to hit on this button, or 5, to get to a smooth mode. And let's also go to Perspective. There you go. That's our geometry. At this time, I'm going to go to my Animation menu set. And let's go under create deformers and let's go to nonlinear deformers and let's go under twist and a twist deformer you can see these lines have been added on the object I can select the object and here's in the input node I have the twist I can specify the low bound so where this twist starts from so if you look at that purple line I can specify the twist is only happening let's say over here and then I can go to the start angle and you can see I'm twisting that object. Also, I can hit 1 for low res geometry in the viewport. This is just a display in the viewport. 2 and 3. 